Good morning, you're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. I'm at Neocon 2015 on the third floor, and I'm in the Tandis and Tiva showroom with Suzanne Tick. Suzanne, how you doing? I'm fantastic. Thanks, Kemp. Most people know who you are. Let's just give a little background on that before we get into these awards you've won. First, you have Suzanne Tick Studios in New York. Matter of fact, just recently interviewed Royce Epstein, who worked with you on a Technion project, right? Yeah, she worked with me for a couple of years, and she got to huddle around carpet long enough to get to understand that. So she's going to do great things at Mohawk. Yeah, that's a neat opportunity for her. So you've been doing design work for Tandis and now called Tandis and Tiva for, for how many years? I have worked with Tandis and Tiva for a little over 10 years now. Yeah. I started out as their creative director, working. Terry was in my office as a design director and helping as a project manager for that project as a client. And our roles are reversed now. And he's creative director, and I'm still acting as a product designer and help direct design. Well, you've got to be pleased winning these awards. You've won a gold award in hard surface for a product called Asymmetric. Tell us a little bit about that, if you would. Yeah, Asymmetric, it's my second product for the Centiva brand, and what I wanted to try to do is to create an abstract that had kind of a reminiscent feeling of how Zaha Hadid or Frank Gehry shifts the planes of the material that they use. So we did a lot of renderings, and by using the computer, shifted lineal studies to create a very architectural, yet kind of a product that that felt familiar. Some people come in and think that it's a wood grain, but as they look closer to it, it looks very architectural. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know, a lot of people in the LVT business, they either try to emulate wood or they try to emulate stone. And yeah, when you take a quick look at this, it does look like potentially a wood grain, but when you get closer and really study it, the longitudinal lines run in different angles, don't they? Yeah, it, I mean, that's the beauty of playing around with the computer and vectorizing, just just shifting the way that you can design on the computer now. And so we got the repeat size and really wanted to give this very folded edge of uh, metallic kind of patina on the floor. Mm-hmm. And there's no hard lines on it. So when you really first glance at it, it looks like almost layers of smoke, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, you know, one of the biggest concerns that I always have in working on the floor is the vibration and whether the contrast levels cause a dizziness. And so I am a strong believer that contrast levels need to be at a, a exactly the same distance for, for the colorways. So if you look at the color palette, you'll see on each colorway, the distance between the ground and the lineal pattern on top is exactly the same. It just shifts as you get darker in the color color ways. And what's so. the format? Is it about 10 by 36 or what is that? You, you know? know, it comes in four different sizes. Okay. 12 by 12, 18 by 18, 12 by 24, and 12 by 36. So in the showroom we have 12 by 36. Mm-hmm. So it's just a, be- a beautiful, soft flooring. And it does have this blurry feeling that kind of feels very soft yeah, and, like and like gentle. It. Smoky, I love that. Yeah. All right, so the next one I want to talk about is the gold you won yeah. in Broadloom for a product called Indent. Yeah, it's awesome. I also won a HIP award for this, so I got a double hit on this one. So Indent was really about exploring what you could do in terms of taking away volume on our looms. We've been creating one or two woven products for the last 10 years in our studio. And on this one, I took the kind of the Nike kind of flywire concept, and as I've been watching that whole development, and studying it, and I thought, what if we take fiber away and not thread it all the way up? And the initial concept was like, let's just trial it and see what we have. And when the mill got the first samples off, they went full production. They just wanted to see what we really had because it's so new and innovative. So the polyester backing yarns are actually a unique part of this design and it looks very much like woven metal and steel. It has this graded steel effect. So up the roll it it has this beautiful kind of iridescence as as you kind of move around this. But the solution dyed polyester backing yarns are coming through. And they're very soil releasing, which you know I was I had all intentions that this was not gonna pass all of our tests. And of course the testing lab went after this like with full gusto because they didn't want us to launch something that wasn't going to perform and 
Every week we got better news and better news about this product. And what you're seeing on the floor here, there's three seams across the width. Mm -hmm. Because we wove this to make it to Neocon, we created it like a blanket. So they were small sections. And the seams are virtually disguised. That was another big issue that we were testing for. You know, how are, how are the woven seams? That's something I always check out. So there's like nine seams in this layout right now. And, it, you know, luckily today we had designers come in and they just wanted to do exactly add, add the yellow to this um, beautiful layout and this beige and indigo blue and teal and add a yellow. So they're going to do the same thing in creating this stripe as a broadloom floor covering in their offices. Well, this is like texture on steroids. I mean, you when you look at it, I mean, you know, it's really high design, but when you first glance at it, it looks a little bit like a walk-off mat, very coarse, you yeah. know, and you say the, so the down low where you see the backing, does that color change depending on the style or is it always that? It's always that color. So in all the colorways, you get that kind of contrast level. Yeah. It goes back to kind of what I was saying. We couldn't shift that. That's the way that the loom is set up. And yeah. Thousands and thousands of warp yarns are set up already in that way when you're when you're working on a woven product. So that's what you get. I mean, it's beautiful and it really gives, as you walk around this, it changes the complexion. So yeah. you get up the avenue and across the highway. However well, the texture runs up. one way and the color runs another way. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. All right, Suzanne, great. Uh, congratulations on these two big awards. When will these products be available? Both of these products are being launched on June 26th, actually. Okay, Our books will far. be out on Indent, and the samples and everything are ready for asymmetric and all the, the brochures and manuals for that as well. All right. Again, we're talking to Suzanne Tick, who's a collaborative product designer with Tandis and Tiva, about her awards with Indent and Asymmetric, and you've been listening to Kempar and FortLA.net.